Hello, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create a members only page in Wix. Once on the Wix editor page as you can see right here, what I want you to do is go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to select pages and menu. After selecting pages and menu you are going to tap on add page at the bottom. Then you are going to select blank page after selecting blank page, from here you can add the page name. So right where you see new page, you are going to simply type in the page name. So let's say for example, I want to name this fan club. So all I would have to do is type in fan club right here, as that's the name that I'm going to be giving the page. Then you'll tap on done. After you have selected done, you are going to tap on the X right here. Then the next thing I want you to do is tap on the plus where it says add elements in the top left hand corner. After you have tapped on add elements, what I want you to do now, you are going to scroll down and select community. After selecting community, you can see right here, add a members era. So all you'll have to do is tap on add add to site after you have tapped on add to site you are going to give it a few seconds as you can see adding wix members era once it has loaded up you'll be redirected to this platform as you can see right here and i'll show you how to edit each section so let's say for example by scrolling down you can see let's say you want to add a field or you want to delete a certain field and by feel, I mean, let's say you want to remove the first name requirement right here. All you have to do is tap on manage fields. After you have tapped on manage fields, you'll be redirected to this dashboard. And from here, as I said, let's say I want to remove the first name requirement. All you have to do is tap on the three dots. Then you'll select hide. And as you can see right there, they are no longer required to add their first name. Instead, all they'll have to do is add their last name, email, and phone number. And if you would like to add more fields, all you have to do is tap on add more fields. Then from here, you can scroll down. Let's say you would like their, them to add their company name. All you have to do is tap on add. Or if you would like to create a custom requirement or a custom field, you could tap on add custom field. Then from there, you can type in the field name. Let's say, for example, test. So I'll type in test right here for the field name. Then you can select field privacy. And then you'll select the field type. So let's say, for example, number. Then you'll tap on save. And you can see right there, it has now been added. And you can see right here the member's name, last name, email, phone number, and the custom field that we have created. After you have done that, all you'll have to do now is tap on the X in the top right-hand corner to close out of this section. And then you'll give it a few seconds to load up and you'll now see the fields that you have created. And if you'd like to make any other changes to the fields, you can or better yet to the background of your new page. All you have to do is tap on settings. After you have selected settings, a small box will pop up as you can see right here in the bottom left hand corner. And if you would like to change the layout, all you have to do is tap on layout. So if you would like to move it to the center, you can tap on center. Or if you like to align it to the right, you could tap on right right there. And you can also change the design. For example, if you want to change the text style, you can tap on text style. And from there, you can change the text style by tapping on the T. So from there, you can choose the font that you would like to use. So let's say I want to change it to this particular font. And you can also change the size of the font. All you'll have to do is pull along the slider right there to increase the font size, as you can see there. Once you're finished, again, all you'll have to do is tap on the X, then tap on back. And you can also change the button style by tapping on button. So if you wanted to change the color of the button, all you'll have to do is tap on the color box. 
then from here you can select the color that you want let's say I want to use red I could tap on red right there then I can go back again and you can see that the button colors have changed also if you would like to add backgrounds or borders you can do that so you can change the background color by tapping right here you can simply change the background color so you can choose the color that you would like to use so let's say I want to change the background to blue I could tap on blue right there then I'll simply tap on the X and you can see that the background has also changed there are numerous editing options that you can choose from and it is quite easy to do using Wix as you can see right here you can change the display info you can change the title you can change the subtitle there are numerous things that you can do but once you are finished with all of the changes all you'll have to do is tap on save in the top right hand corner then from there you could tap on publish but let's preview how our members only page looks so I'll tap on preview and you can see how the page looks right here and this is it hope you found this video helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching